beauties and welcome back to my channel Dory Creates. I hope you guys are doing well because I'm doing fantastic but today's video I will be doing some Halloween makeup for you guys and this will probably be the this will be the second to the last Halloween makeup video I do I will be doing another one and that will be it but um, before we jump into this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, press that bell so you don't miss any videos, give this video a fat thumbs up, and comment down below. But let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So as you can see, my eyebrows are done. And now I'm going to move on to using this pencil to draw some lines above my face, kind of make it look like a smiley face. So I have my latex and like I said, I made this in myself with just flour and Vaseline. But I'm going ahead and taking pieces out and rolling them to be flat so they can be the same size as the lines I drew on my face. So as you can see my mouth is done and of course it looks like an extended smiley face. So I have this pencil that I just broke off from like the whole pencil itself. Because I just wanted the bottom half to make it look like it got stabbed into my face. And I just used latex and I did it off camera to make sure it stayed on my forehead. I can say though it didn't stay like I wanted it to because once I started to cover it up it started to sink like downward and I didn't want to fix it. But right here, I'm just applying my foundation to my face. And of course, I'm gonna apply it to the latex so it can blend in and look like my real skin. Next, I'm applying my pressed powder that way so it can kind of set in with a matte finish so it won't look so glossy. So this is my blush. I use this to put on my scars and stuff, my fake scars, so they can look kind of bruised and irritated. So I'm going in with some other colors of eyeshadow like black, yellow, and purple, and blue just to make it look a little bit more real. So now I'm using these face paints, the red and the black, and I'm just going to put, in, put it in where the cuts are on my face.
So this is actually red food coloring gel. And I just put that where my cuts are so it can look like blood is just flowing out of my cut. So I made this with food coloring gel and some water. It was purple, but I basically was trying to make like these really weird black drops on my face to make it look like I was crying or something. But you know, like after a while, they kind of sunk into my skin and they didn't really look that vibrant. So, but they still look kind of good though. But you guys, I added the fake blood to my cuts and of course the part where the pencil is. But this is basically the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and watch my last video. If you missed it, I will leave the link down below. Comment, like, share this video and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!